All right, Jay Nivey has removed all Detroit Pistons information from his bio on Instagram. You know, if you like me 30 and up, that pretty much means that when people stop on following people and they stuff with their bio, mean that they're no longer interested. So let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification. Christians get notifications with a live or drop the video. I would have waited at home until so I did this video, but shit, I'm waiting on some food. I ain't been feeling good. So for the most part, since I've been sick, I just be eating fried rice. Um, I'm huge hibachi guy. So, uh, you know, when I go hibachi, like I, I love Benihana's in Northville. That's the best one. And the good thing about that is that when you're at a table with people, they suggest other places that's similar, that's good. So I got Nara's in West Bloomfield to try. And one of my favorites, too, if you never heard of it, neither. It's out there in uh, Clawson. If you don't know where Clawson is, Ferndale, Royal Oak area. It's called Osaka's. They shit bang. For real. Osaka's the shit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but, yeah, I, mean, I heard about Nara's. And there's another place somebody told me. So, But, yeah, I'm a, <clears throat> you know, on the weekends, I'm a foodie. But, uh, but yeah, man, you know, at the end of the day, I already told y'all how the game go. I know how these young guys think and stuff of that nature, man, because we always raise different. You know what I'm saying? We was raised different, bro. Like, um, a lot of the generation before my generation, I'm a millennial, they was raised just to keep grinding, grinding, get better, get better. And now we kind of in an era where you can't take no constructive criticism, you know. Now it's personal and in whatever situation, no more, more. And a lot of these kids shut down when you have constructive criticism, you know. Back in the day, Bobby Knight could be, rest in peace to him, you could yell and scream and cuss at kids, and that's what they used to. And they respond, you know, you had a few kids that are shut down, but I mean, I have, you know, coaches and mentors punch us in the chest and chastised us and, you know, life fires under us and the parent to come in and they're justified. They wouldn't come in and fight the coach. He, they knew what he was doing. So it's just a different era, you know, um, instead of grinding, instead of grinding and getting this spot back and doing the things that Monty Williams asked him to do, get better defensively, take care of the basketball, be more of a team player. He'd rather shut down and go somewhere else. And that's a bad habit to have. And that's something I had to learn to shake. Just because somebody challenge you don't mean you got to shut down and quit. Just because you're in a relationship and stuff get rocky don't mean you got to pick up and leave. That's a, that's a, that's a female trait. And that's a bad trait to have. You will never make it through a relationship. <clears throat> Any of your homeboy, uh, you got a best friend, that's a girl. You got a, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife. If when stuff start going, getting hard and somebody want to leave every time stuff start getting hard, if I, I was you, I wouldn't work through it and get rid of that person. You know what I'm saying? Especially once you explain to him before, okay, we gonna, you know, we can make it through this. And with Jay Ivy, he young. I've been there before. <clears throat> or you just want to quit when stuff get hard. But once he make the adjustment and keep grinding and get better, then he, he gonna, you know, whatever. You know, whatever. It's gonna be whatever. But then again, when you start seeing them draft Sasser. You know what I'm saying? It's K. They draft a short. They talking about he a two. You know, and they start taking these different players, and then you start falling out of favor with Monty Williams, and you feel like last year you established yourself. You know, even though you was a rookie, it's no way you can really establish establish yourself. I knew I knew this was coming. I I kind of I first got the sense, even though I didn't really know, that first preseason, the first summer league game when he really was forcing it, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. When he was really forced it, forced it, watch that first summer league game. He was terrible. He was wild under control. He was trying to go out there and prove something. And I think people were saying, well, Keegan Murray had a really good summer league game. He was trying to prove that he can do what Keegan Murray doing. No, he was trying to prove that he can, you know, he, he, in the money that he, he, he belong. And at the end of the day, not only have they driven his stock down, they driven, and I guarantee you, he ain't as sick as he making it seem neither. I'm going to talk about that. Not only have they driven his stock down, trying to drive a, a stock and Killian Hayes up, which you ain't going to rise that stock up none because he sucked. Now you're not going to be able to get full price for Jay Knight. Troy Weaver has done a fucking terrible job. And this is an actual fact. He's done a terrible job. He took best player available and he literally ran with it. He keep drafting the same players. And the problem is there's multiple players in the lineup that's not better than Jay Knight. Isaiah Stewart, Killian Hayes is not better than Jay Knight. 
and you telling me you telling me that these dudes are better than me and Isaiah Stewart can't guard nobody. Look how Giannis just banged on him the other day. He can't guard fives. He can't guard fours. So it's hard for a young player to say, well, all these guys playing above me and I'm better than them. You know, it's hard for them to understand that. Then when the daddy's speaking out on social media, it makes it no better. I already knew this was going on. The agent is leaking the shit to Brian Wernhorst. It's about to get ugly. And the fucked up thing about it, it's the only way I can put excuse my language, is that they're not going to get full price for Jay Nivey, and they're not going to get nothing for Killian Hayes. Don't be surprised if they don't extend Killian Hayes, neither. It's a shit show. The Pistons is a true shit show. I hate to say it, it's a true shit show. It's a whole bunch of players that's getting major minutes and getting new contracts who don't deserve it. And I said that from the beginning. And Isaiah Stewart ain't too bad this season at all. But to be honest, he's not a starting power forward in this league. He's not a starting five. Everybody see Killian Hayes suck. From the city of Detroit to every everybody else. Excuse me. Everybody see it. Everybody sees it. Everybody sees it. Everybody. You know? Everybody sees it. Except for the Detroit Pistons. And they could put Ivy in the back of the back in the back seat of the bench and not do nothing with him. If I was him, I'd take a new approach. I come in there, work hard, grind, get better, see, you know, where I can improve the turnovers, improve my ball handling, improve my defensive effort, improve being a team player, and keep it moving from there. But I guarantee you he ain't as sick as they making the scene. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you how he talking about he's sick and all that type of stuff. No, nah, man, that dude ain't that sick, bro. He don't want to be here no more. He don't want to be here no more. It ain't even been 10 games and he ready to get out of here because Killian Hayes uh, uh, starting over him. Now I just slow down. So second year and see what happens. But mine didn't create another DeAndre Aiden situation. And it got so bad where he had to speak out through the media on why he not playing. So... I mean, it is what it is, man. I, I wouldn't. Uh, I, I mean, if I'm him, I wouldn't stun it. I wouldn't stun it. Real talk, I wouldn't stun it. I wouldn't. I just come come in, work hard, grind. That's what I do. I come in, work hard, and grind. That's what I would do. That'll be my MO. Put in that work. Get better. And if you know, if I get better and he still ain't playing me, then hey, I just gotta keep it moving. I just gotta keep it moving. That's the type of time I'll be on. But everybody don't think that way. That that dude right that dude ready to move on. And when you got people around you who just don't say get better, get and we don't know the whole story, neither. We don't know the whole story. That's the problem. We don't know the whole story. So I'm on I'm only speaking on the outside looking in. So maybe he got some intel that we don't we ain't got. You know? Maybe he got some intel that we ain't got. So, at the end of the day, if I was him, I just, you know, it's too early in the game. I work it, I grind it, get better, and see where the chips fall at. But it'll be a bunch of takers for him. But they ain't going to get the price they think they're going to get for him because they didn't drove his stock down. And only the Pistons do this, man. They draft guys and they mess them up. Trade them too early and they go somewhere else to be superstar. All this over Killian Hayes, possibly. I don't even think it's so much of a short Thompson playing over him. 
All this over Killian Hayes. They willing, they willing, they willing to do this. They willing to throw away a good guard for Killian Hayes. I'm telling you, dude. Same thing for Isaiah Stewart. You see him get paid. You're like, this motherfucker ain't that good to be getting that contract. And like I said before, man, the organization is trash. The organization is trash. I hate to say it, man. I like Tom Gores, too. But the people he got running the organization is straight booty cheeks. Straight booty cheeks. The Pistons ain't going to be no good no time soon. Y'all hope we holding our breath. We gonna be holding our breath for a long time. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, <clears throat> increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash App Dollar Sign CJ Good three one three. Venmo CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, everywhere, Spotify, Anchor, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Um, peace.